But let's also take a look back and see your own highlight of, uh, of, of the World Cup. This World Cup seems to be like, um, uh, um, it has really shocked um, bookmakers and um, analysis <laughs> uh, on that. But t t tell us your own two highlights of this World Cup that will always have a stay in your mind, even after the World Cup and It might be more than two, but let us know what has stick in your mind, whether it's in terms of organization or whether it's in terms of the play on the field or whether in several other intents, because we know that the World Cup Qatar 2020 goes beyond the field of play. It um, has brought the world together. So your own um, top um, three highlights um, of the World Cup. Thank you so much. You know, my, the major uh, highlight of this World Cup has been the, the unpredictability nature of it. You know, nobody could have uh, predicted that uh, the German team would not uh, even qualify from their group. You know, nobody, nobody could have even predicted that uh, uh, Japan would beat uh, uh, Germany in, in the match, in the group stage. Nobody could also have predicted that uh, Saudi Arabia would beat uh, um, Argentina. Argentina in the group stage as well. You know, so, ma so many, so many uh, unpredictability of it. You know that even makes makes the the World Cup uh, very very interesting. Now, you know, for me, the major highlight would be the 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 uh, representative representative or the representation at uh, the semi the semi final. Hmm. I hope um, we still have. Uh, we have South, uh, we have two European team, uh, as a matter of fact, and one South American. You know, for me, it's a reflective of the of what the World Cup is all about. You know, the World Cup. You know, it, 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 like I said in the beginning, nobody would have even predicted that an African country would have been in the semi final, and they had where. Well. For me, that's that's a highlight. You know, again, uh, the opening ceremony. You know. Uh, many analysts have said that uh, the opening ceremony was very colorful, and I tend to agree with them. You know, uh, Qatar has brought to bear the their 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 oil money. You know, mm. and uh, for me, they have uh, organized one of the best World Cup that we have ever seen. Let's let let us just leave out all the 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 matters that are not football related, you know, mm. because initially it was dominated by matters that are not football, you know, women right, this and that and that for me. But in terms of the organization and the opening ceremony, I think uh, we should give kudos to where it is uh, due. And I want to say that for me, that's an highlight and, and the, the un unpredictability nature of, uh, of uh, the, 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 the result so far. Okay. Yeah, Those definitely. are the two highlights that I will... Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, also, you also reminded of, of what um, the Infatino and the president of FIFA said that um, let's leave all um, things that are not relating to football matters away from football. And um, we saw the success of um, the first ever World Cup hosted in the Arab world. And it's also showcased um, so much of um, other cultures beyond um, what we are always known as the European um, uh, and, um, world.